the road. Wherever you are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, and welcome to Bradford City, or not Walsall, versus Bradford City Preview live on X and other social sites. I am today by, joined by Johnny's Angels. We've got Diane, Callie, and Miss Georgia is hiding in the corner. So, what's your thoughts on the game we had on Saturday? We played okay. At least we got the three points. That's the main thing. That's all I can say. We got the got the three points. We played, and you look brilliant in the hat. Yeah. Um. My mind is my mind is like deserted me after this week. Who did we actually play Saturday? We played Salford, but I don't like. Oh. I do not like their terracing at all. I hate their terracing. It should be concrete, not like it was. Yeah, so whoever is joining as well on TikTok, don't mind me, I'm just having a pizza and I'm men, this is proving men can multitask, I'm eating and co-hosting at the same time. So, Callie, what's your thoughts on the Salford game? Um, it wasn't a brilliant game, I think we only had 10 shots on target, but like Diane said, we got the three points and it's all to play for, isn't it? I mean, mathematically, we can still get that seventh spot. But we're obviously relying on the other teams. But yeah, I think we did well against Salford to say where where we are and what we're doing at the minute. All good. And do you think the the team played well? I don't think we did. We we only had ten shots on target compared and the passes. And if you look at the stats, we didn't. It wasn't a good game. I mean, I didn't. It was a bit boring to watch, to be fair, until Kavanagh scored. But then it. We did better. I think the second half was a lot better than the first half. I mean, we should be coming out fighting, fighting for them three points, shouldn't we? Yeah, hundred percent agree. First half, I thought we played a bit naff, um, and then in the second half, we did improve. So, with the team, do you think they played? And I've already asked her played well, uh, but do you think it would stick with the same team going forward? I want him to put Tomkinson on. Sort it out. Get Tomkinson because Tomkinson's only getting a few minutes now in the second half, isn't he? So I'd keep some of the team, but then change it and see what happens. And, Miss Kelly, have you got any thoughts on? Any more thoughts? Yeah, I mean, usually Graham Ags Alexander, he normally waits about 20 minutes, doesn't he? Normally you can tell him first 20 minutes or so it, what's what's going wrong and what's working and he does normally change it in time but it's like with, with two games left sorry three games left so <laughs> it's, it'll be interesting to see what he does tomorrow and now yeah I mean Walsall are in a good Walsall are in a good position we need to take them three points off Walsall tomorrow yeah and before we get on to the Walsall game who do you think your man of the match was for the Salford game? Uh, for me, Kavanagh. I thought Kavanagh played amazing. Same Kavanagh. Okay. Right, I've sent Miss uh, Miss Bubbles an invite, so hopefully she'll join at some point. But then, uh, going on now to Walsall versus Bradford, 3pm tomorrow, 20th of April, 2024, at 3 o'clock at the Powerland Bascot Stadium. The referee is Adam. Oh my God. Uh, her... Oh God. Anyone? Oh, Diane, you've seen it, haven't you? How do you pronounce that referee's name? Is it Adam Herzeg or something? Zeg, Zag, Zeg. Right, but he's had one championship appearance he's dished out five yellow cards no second yellows no reds no penalties efl trophies had two appearances six yellow cards no second yellows one red card and no penalties in league one he's had 12 appearances he's dished out four yellow cards one second yellow no reds two penalties league two he's had 16 appearances 47 yellow cards no second yellows no reds five penalties in the fa cup he's had one appearance two yellow cards no second yellows no red cards, no penalties. In the FA Youth Cup, he's had one appearance, no yellow cards, no second yellows, 
No reds, no penalties. Grand total is have 33 appearances, 100 yellow cards, one second yellow, one red, and seven sending offs. So Bradford City have played quite a few times. I'm not going to bother boring, boring people with the scores from previous games anymore, but Bradford City have won eight, they've drawn eight, and Walsall have won four. Bradford City are currently eight. Uh, sorry, Walsall are currently eighth on forty-four goal difference one, and they've got sixty-five points. Bradford are thirteenth, forty-three games played, minus three goal difference, and sixty points. Bradford City's top goal scorer is Mr. Andy Cook. He's had fifteen goals, five assists, and thirty-eight games played. Oh, not another name. Foil or feel? He's had 12 goals, 1 assist, and he's played 43 games. Warsaw are ranked 9 goals goals scored per match. That's 1.5 goals. Haven't had a clean sheet in 11 matches, so we're probably going bat to get battered tomorrow and lose. Ian Hutchinson has created the most big chances for Warsaw 9. Bradford City are ranked 22 goals scored per match, 1.2 goals. Ranked 12. 12 in shots on target per match, 4.4 shots. Richard Smallwood has created the most big chances for Bradford City with 11. Now, going over to Mr. Parker over at the lovely team here, he, his possible starting lineup is Evans, Ogbler, Daniels, Allen, Faulkless, Hutchinson, Stirk, Comley, Gordon. Field Gordon with Matt Johnson, Taylor, I can't even pronounce that name, uh, uh, Jellis, oh my god, Fark Husson, Barnett, leading top goal scorer is Hutchinson on 14th. Last four games, they've won against Swindon, they've lost against County, they've lost against Doncaster, and they've won Tramia. Bradford City's formation and team is walk, uh, possibly Walker, Okioki, Platt, Kelly, Halliday, Smallwood, Wright, Pointham, Walker, Cav, Andy Cook, with Chapman, Gilead, Smith, Adwa, Tompkinson, Richards, and Doyle. Stop goals where I've done that already. Last four matches, Bradford City have won against 2 1 against Gillian, uh, Salford, 1 1 0 against Gillingham, drawn against Grimsby. And won Tramia. Referee Alan Herkes from Durham is sent off Lewis Comos in City's win over Bradford City in under 21s in the EFL trophy. The match adds a uh, Walsall 65, City 2 1, and the draw 5 2. Last time the sides met, City lost 3 1 at Valley Parade in September in Mark Hughes' final home game in charge. So, what is everybody's thoughts on that? And I'm going to have a little bit of pizza. I'll go first. Um, I don't know, like you say, we'll probably end up... I think the team might be the same as Salford, and if we play like we did against Salford, we'll probably get there. Um, it, I think it'll be a close game tomorrow, because I've just looked and seen where Walsall are, and they're at like eight, so they'll be wanting to win to get into that seventh spot if they could. So they'll, they're on 65, and if they, get in, if they win, they're on 68, and they could get in the seventh spot. It's just going to be one of them games. It'll be a close one, I think. That's all. I think the only thing we've got going for us is we play we play better away, don't we? We seem to have a better result away. So I'm hoping that that's going in our favour tomorrow. Uh, bubbles. I agree with the um, the ladies. Basically, if we play like we did at Salford with a bit more. Um, from the backsides and whatever else, we'll probably get the win. But if they don't play like that, I don't know. I'm and still recovering from Salford. <laughs> what What were your thoughts on Salford, Georgia? I don't know because they ended up being hit in the back and they all just went to pot at the end. I don't have a clue what happened. In other words, is somebody celebrate too hard? No, um, I. I actually had a bad back and I wasn't actually going to turn up at Salford, but I did. Um, to the point where I'm trying to protect the little one, Diane's trying to protect me and I've gone down with a bad back. 
Well, hope you're okay after that. Um, so, has anyone got any other thoughts on the Warsaw game? I am. I just think, thought so. I, I think, do you not think it's going to be interesting? To, I wonder how the players are feeling. Because uh, the, the, we're this close, aren't we, to playoffs, depending on what the other teams do. If the scores go our way tomorrow and we beat Walsall, it, do you know what I mean? It's tight, isn't it? I know yeah. a lot of people have said, nah, it, there's no chance now. I mean, a, a lot of people I speak to say there's no chance. But for me, if there's hope still there, I'm still there hoping as well. <laughs> yeah, I think the players will be like thinking, oh, we're only like, I think it's six points behind. Is it Crawley that's got the last place? Yeah. We're only six points behind and we have got that game in hand. It's the trouble. The only thing I can see wrong is Doncaster are fine yeah. at the moment. And they we are need out them, there. We need them to proper cock up tomorrow. But are they going to cock up against bottom of the league? They play Sutton, don't they, Doncaster? I don't know. Do you want me to have a look on my fixtures? But yeah, I'm sure it's Sutton. Let's have a look. <laughs> you know what I'm like, me. <laughs> I've just got. I have to live in hope until it's till the till it's over completely over. I'm still living in hope. I don't. No, the play Barrow. Thinks. Oh, is it Barrow? Yeah, so, but Barrow in the playoffs. So then yeah. again, you never so know. Mm. Do you want me to tell you who's playing, to, who's playing who tomorrow? Yeah, to, just to, for the playoff side of things. Well, crew are playing Wrexham. They're still in the playoffs. So Wrexham are up already, aren't they? Yeah. Still? It doesn't really matter I'll what just go through, I'll just go through fixtures. Donny Barrow. Greensby Swindon. That's not a match. How we get MK Dons? MK Dons are in the playoffs. Mansfield Gillingham. You've got Mark and Forest Green, Newport Salford, Notts County Colchester, Stockport Accrington, Sutton and Crawley, Tramia AFC Wimbledon, and us and Walsall. Yeah, it's gonna. It's tight. It is, like you say. I think. I think it is over, but until it is actually. <laughs> Uh, well, it's over till I sing. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> As I said, the fat lady. <laughs> Sorry, I shut the. T <laughs> Never mind. Oh God! Right, jo Johnny, are you Johnny, are you going tomorrow? By the way, I am going tomorrow, Miss Kelly. At which I'm going on my own. I'm going on my, going on my lonesome. You don't oh, poor pick, you. Do you fancy picking me and Lenny up on way down? Which way are you going? I'll, I'll, ring, I'll, I'll, ring, I'll ring you later. Have a about look that. at it. Yeah, have a look at the um, the stats later. Yeah, because I'm coming from my house over to Tops. And yeah, I'll have a, ch I'll, I'll have a, I'll have a chat with you because I need to have a chat with you anyway. No worries. Right, well, I'm sleeping pizza. Uh, let's get the score predictions over and done with. So, Diane, what do you think the score's going to be? Oh, I don't know. I think it's going to be close. I'm going to say 3 2 to us. Cut. Uh, I think we're going to beat them 2-1. Bubbles? 2-1 to us, yeah. Okay. This is going to be like, I think, the shortest podcast known to man and woman. Right. Um, so, everybody knows, we obviously, we don't do, we're not going to do a podcast on Tuesday uh, for the Barrow game due to it being called off several times and we've already done one. And if anyone's listening to the future... Bit of a joke here, probably, but after the game got called off again this Tuesday and probably gets rearranged again, like, for another Tuesday. But if we beat Walsall, do you think we're going to beat Barrow on the Tuesday? I'd like to say, yeah. Yes, I do. I think we will. We've got, we've got to play for pride now, haven't we? I mean, I know that playoff spot is still dangling, but we have to play for absolute pride. Yeah, and the and shirt and new contracts. They end yeah. that season on a high. More people are going to want to buy season tickets. More people are going to want to watch them. They've yeah. got to go for it. And they've got to, and don't forget, half of them will be playing for a new contract as well. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so I think Bradford are going to win, possibly. I think they're going to win 3 1, because I said on a, on a Walsall podcast the other day, I think we're going to win 3 1 and Andy Cook's going to score. With the Barrow game, I hope the game does go ahead because uh, I need a bit of luck in my life after this week. Uh, so I hope the Barrow game goes on. Right. Oh, we're so, on teller. Bradford on teller. Probably talking about uh, the FA Cup. Uh, <coughs> oh, so 
So, Diane. Yes. I, I like how you've just slid into that perfectly. Yeah, well, it was perfect because they yep. just sort of like show does. So, the FA Cup replays. What's your thoughts on the FA Cup replays? I think they just want it. I think it's doing pampering to the big boys. Oh, I don't like playing too many matches. We've got Europe and everything. The pampering to big boys and like the little clubs. Like if they get through to sort of like third round and they end up getting like a team and they lose after extra time, they probably <laughs> like to take them to their ground to get them there. Like the little non league clubs. But I think it's good how everybody's coming out and making statements out of the EFL. But I've yeah, noticed how that, um, that team over there at Ellen Road haven't done one yet. Yeah, because I've seen, obviously, I've, on Twitter, I've been tweeting out basically every... I've retweeting all the clubs, and there's been quite a few. Bradford, I think, did theirs earlier today. Yeah, I've actually did. looked at that because I've been too busy sorting other stuff out. But, Gally, what's your thoughts on the replay situation? I've, I think it's disgusting that they're not giving other clubs a chance. That's what the FA Cup is all about, the underdogs. It always has been, all these years. Um, I, I, do you know what I think it is? I think a lot of the big teams are like, I, they're not scared of us, but they, they don't, it's embarrassing for them if they lose to a, a national or a League Two team. So, yeah, yeah I think it's disgusting. I think, I think every team should be able to get through and, and play. Georgia Love? I just think it's all a joke. It, it's like, it's all come out after as well, this Sky Sports stuff as well. It's it's funny how Sky Sports has done what they've done. Now, FA Cup's getting messed with. What's next? Hopefully, EFL trophy. Uh, but right, going back, right, this is going to be a bit controversial, what I think I'm going to say now. I've been thinking about this all day, so preparing to battle hat down the hatchets. So, Kelly, you know, and I know, we go home and away, don't we, everywhere, together. So, say Bradford City got my United, and we end up drawing, and we end up getting a replay, so we say, uh, Old Trafford, it'd be fantastic, wouldn't it, be on a Saturday, be like, yeah, give it all that. But what's if, like, Bradford play Exeter, something like that, and it's nil-nil? You want the game over and done with, don't you? On that day, if you want to play Exeter away, for example, you would get that. You would want to get that game over and done with that day, and then you can bugger off. And apparently, the game's going to be played on a Saturday as well now, so midweek games are going to be no longer about. So that's, I think, the the best thing about it. It's a Saturday, but can you imagine like if Bradford draw against Man United something in cup and it's nil nil? Would would you guys be happy? Like, say we did got Man United and it nil nil. What would your thoughts be on that? And it just went to extra time and penalties? I, I still think it should be played over the two legs, regardless of where it is. Or, I mean, I've been a Bradford City fan. We, I mean, you can see our travelling support away is amazing, isn't it? We sell out most times. I mean, yeah, granted this last season's not been the best, but we've had that much to contend with, with managers going, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I, yeah, I, I get what you're saying, Johnny, and it, I think we, I think as Bradford City fans, if we have got a nil-nil draw at Man, a Man United or Man City, we'll <laughs> take it, won't we? Absolutely take it. <laughs> um, but for me, part of the travel, part of the games, and part of the days out is the travelling and meeting up with your mates and and doing all that kind of thing. So I, I'd prefer it if we did have a replay. I think to be, if I'm honest. Yep. Uh... George Love Bubbles. Uh, the replays, they've been there for all this time, so it's it's just staff changing them now. It's like all these little clubs or like the lower league clubs, they look forward to the day out anyway. So to change it, it's, it's just, there's not, I don't see why they should change it. It's just annoying. Yeah. So I know there's multiple clubs appeared, come out of the woodwork, like Bradford, Atkins, Stanley, Grimsby. The list goes on and on. It's the FA Cup. It's the magic of the FA Cup. And with the magic of the FA Cup, it gives you glamour ties. Like if Bradford get Chelsea away or something, everybody's buzzing. If Chelsea, or like if Leeds get Bradford, big games, isn't it? Go on, Miss Kelly. Yeah, got your hand. yeah look what happened. Look what happened at Stamford Bridge in 2013. 
if can you imagine not I mean that we made history that day and I think the ma I didn't the manager have to read his words he had to kind of apologize and bow down yeah. to us yeah that, did, that kind of thing wouldn't happen would it so uh, nah for me it, if it stops games like the Chelsea game it's not happening for me really look at look at Maidstone this season playing Coventry in the replay at Coventry. All right, they got beaten. And look at the teams that they beat to get to that fourth round, fifth round, I can't remember now. Yeah, but that's you know what, what it's I mean? about. Like, it's switch. That's it's, absolutely it's, what it's about, isn't it? It's about the little teams going out, enjoying the day. It's like a few years ago, guys have got Accrington, <laughs> do, do at Geisler, then they beat Accrington at Accrington and everything. It, they should not mess about with the FA Cup at all. It is it like I've said like I said, the pampering to the big boys. It's just pampering to them and everything. And they're wanting a break. They don't want replays. But who who's who are sorry, my dad. Sorry. Is that right? Shut up. Dog's who's, feeling a bit rough again. <laughs> who who's actually said this is what's happening? Have, have they actually said that's what's gonna happen? Yeah, they're from saying. the Premier League and the FA have come to agreement and a Apparently, according to uh, the Peterborough chairman, there's been no communication from the FA. So the about Premier League this. and the FA have just decided amongst themselves, and then yes. that's it. How bad yeah, is that? that? How Some bad of is that? Money's going to grassroots and everything like that. Yeah. Did they uh, say that they're going to give more money as well? Yeah. To compensate. But I think something to do with, I can't remember if I've read it right somewhere, about the EFL and the Premier League have basically got into bed with each other. Oh, and yeah. I don't know if they're giving them more money or something. I think the, I think basically, if I've read it correctly, I think the Premier League now own the rights to the FA Cup. If I've, I remember reading that somewhere. I don't know if anyone can confirm it. I swear I've read it somewhere. And I see DJ Lee Lee Lee, Lee has joined. Are you there, Lee? I am indeed. Hi, Lee. You started early. Hi, everyone. I did. Hi, Kelly. I did Hi, send you a message. I did, but I did message everybody. Didn't get it, mate. <laughs> Sorry. All uh, right, don't worry about it. Right, Lee. So, going back to the Salford game, what's your thoughts? What was your thoughts on the Salford game? Uh, two poor sides, really, and we came out on top because we were a lot better than they were. Oh, yeah? it, wasn't the best, it wasn't the best performance I've ever seen, to be fair. But, yeah, and we'll take that at this stage of the season. And also, because we're not doing a podcast on Tuesday because we've already done a podcast for Barrow, but oh, I'm going right. to touch on it a little bit. Uh, if we beat Walsall... Oh, sorry, what's your thoughts on Walsall? I'll get there first. That's going to be a tough game. game. They're a bit of a bogey side, aren't they? So, it's just going to be tough. It's always tough. And it's at Walsall, isn't it? So... Not an yeah. easy place to go. And what will if we so we say if we beat Walsall, what was your thoughts beyond the Barrow game? We just need to keep winning, like I said last week. If we can keep winning, there's an outside chance of something. Do I think reality we're gonna get there? No, but my heart my city soul says we can. And that's about the size of it. But we haven't, we haven't really earned it this year, I don't think. It's just that little glimmer of hope, isn't it, Lee, that you cling it, on to? You just don't want to let go, <laughs> do I? No, no, I don't. I'm the same. I'm the same. <laughs> don't want the season just, to end next weekend. I can't accept the season's <laughs> over when there's still the shine of a prize at the end, you know? I, I, just feel, I feel like, sorry, I feel like we've, we've just, I think we do that little tiny bit of luck. Just I think so. We've been waiting for it all season, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, and it, and, yeah, and now, can you imagine? I, I, I mean, I, I know I keep drawing on about it, but can you just imagine if we did, if we actually made it to that seventh spot? Can you? I can't. I can't think straight. Me at minute. But I just think. The thing is, we did it before, <laughs> didn't we? Yeah, we did we it did. last year. Yeah. Yeah. So you know. <laughs> so I think. It's so, there. I want it. I want it. I want it. <laughs> so I'm going to come and check Callie's water bottle because I, I would love to know what she's been drinking. I know, I'm, not uh, saying I'm being sober. George's internet's playing up. That's why she's gone. All right, don't worry about oh, it. Oh, yeah. not good. I, so, I Callie, if we... I'm called sober. I'm so sorry I'm yeah. late, but... So it, am I. I guess it's my own fault for not spotting messages, I guess. 
So if, Cal, if we somehow, some miracle, and I mean some miracle, like pigs flying all that lot, we <laughs> get to seventh place, I will dye my hair claret amber and I'll let you do it. <laughs> <laughs> deal. Absolute deal. <laughs> oh, can I, oh, on, can I help you, Cal? Facebook and Twitch and everything. If, I'll if even we get put your summer extensions in, Johnny. Yeah. Uh, I'll even I'll let you do you my color. nails. I'll even let you do my nails. I, I like that light, but right. Does anybody want to? Oh, uh, Ashley, what should, what do you think your score predictions are going to be for tomorrow? I've already asked him that. I can't remember. Uh, no, no, yeah, no. What's your well, what's your score prediction predictions tomorrow? tomorrow against Walsall? I will probably. It's not Walsall tomorrow. It's Tuesday's Walsall, isn't it? No, I'm all over the tomorrow. It is Walsall tomorrow. I tell you, I'm all over the other tomorrow. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, Walsall at Walsall. I take one nil all day long. Okay. Right. Uh, does anybody want to chat about, vent about, shout about anything? Did anybody uh, see Mr. Alexander's thing today? Where he they were asking him about incomings, outgoings, usual questions from crew and he said that well we uh, for next season squad we want 22 to 23 players so that means there's a lot of players disappearing isn't there it's up the right ones there'd be quite a lot of people out of contract though like oh uh, yeah yeah but there will there'll be a lot of people expecting to get another contract but as long as he gets rid of small wood i'll be happy Oh, Diane's getting controversial again. <laughs> controversial. I actually like him in team. I, 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 I just don't let him take set pieces. Terrible. Didn't Johnny, but he'll didn't win Johnny you, he's a ball winner. He'll win you the ball. Didn't Johnny say earlier that he had the most assists, Smallwood? Yeah. 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 Didn't he? I, I, yeah. I find that hard to believe. I'm sorry. So do I. <laughs> it's on stats. <laughs> yeah. It's I there can't believe all that. What? Well, small all, all assisted Yeah, Richard Richie, Richie Smallwood has created the most big chances for Bradford City eleven. Yes. Wow. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Why do we think he's shit then? Because, because he is. Because <laughs> he can't take free kicks off. Because he can't take you? set pieces. He's bloody off. <laughs> I could do that, and I can barely <laughs> stand up. We only scored because we were wind assisted over there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that were beans, wasn't it? Let's face it. <laughs> <laughs> so beans on the <laughs> sportsman's breakfast. That's all I'm saying. Did anybody else want to rant about or vent about anything? Anyone, anyone want to chat about absolutely anything? The, the last, the last time I went to Walsall away, we were three 0 up at half time, and Stefan Rupp and oh. the other one, can't remember his name, it's gone out of my head. Radic or whatever yeah, it's called. They were both sat with right. us in the stand. Right. We were three 0 up at half time, and then Walsall came out in the second half and banged three pastors. Yeah. It was one of the worst away games I think I've been to. I don't like Walsall, I've got to be honest. No, I don't. As a club, they're fine, but I don't like playing against them because they're tough. Yeah, it's, it's, they're tough at their ground, aren't they? they yeah, always have it's, been. it's a bit like going to Crew. Crew's always a bit of Yeah, a... that's that same kind of... And it's where yeah. the ground is. You come straight off the motorway and it's right there. It's yeah. just... Yeah, I'm same with you. Yeah, I'm with you. It's first time, it's first time for me tomorrow down at Walsall. Oh, enjoy. Oh, I will do. <laughs> Listen, I get I get to see a certain goalkeeper, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> there used to be a nice pub slash hotel next to the Walsall ground. I don't know if that got used for asylum seekers or not. I don't know if it's <laughs> still been unlocked. Probably. <laughs> been going. No, I don't so, like it. I don't like Walsall. Uh, so... I remember a bit of news what broke from the club the other day. Uh, so, Cali, putting your mind back to... I just need to get it up, actually, now. Putting your mind back to when the protest happened at the club and there was a bit of hearsay, she said, Chinese whispers, nothing happened at the game apart from some chanting. I'm just trying to bloody defend Yeah, it. I've I've read somewhere that somebody actually got done for smashing the window, but it wasn't who we thought it was. Yeah, some Bradford Bradford City fan avoids avoids football ban after criminal damage 
And there's a lot of he say. I remember seeing this on Twitter about oh no, nothing got damaged. You're lying. But clearly something's happened. And he w yeah, he was actually t done in court for it. Was it somebody called Stephen? Somebody, I'm sure Stephen. I remember well. saying that. But uh, yeah, yeah, but he didn't get a ban, did he? Because he's offered to pay for it or something. He's waiting for the club to come back to him. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing so is, like, it's supposed to be peaceful. It wasn't supposed to be damaged and all that. What it? And it's just no. Somebody's Ooh. got a bit too hot headed and whatever, you know. And we have got our regulars coming in now. Typically, we should have Chris come on soon. He should be able to hear me. I can hear you, mate, and I'm on. Hey, Chris. Hi, Hi Chris. Hi, all. Hey, How are you doing? And George is back. Georgina. Yeah, so can you... Right, so Chris, what's your thoughts on the Gillingham game? Sorry, Gillingham, Salford game. Salford. Well, Salford game, I thought, for all intents and purposes, we, we gave them as, as good as what we got and we, we run it. It would have... Uh, it was a lucky goal, but well placed. You know, when it actually came to it, I thought, when I was watching it, and I'm thinking, blooming heck, that hit on um, Kavanagh, I thought, that's a foul. He's getting sent off. And then ball goes over, gets to Halliday, and he just puts it in. Left I, thought, I, I, could, I don't think he could have felt a better person, to be honest. No, nah, no. And um, I, I just thought that we played more, more or less as good as what they gave us. And you could tell in points, we let it go a little bit. And then you could tell in other bits where we just put it and we thought, you know, we're having this. <laughs> I think we, were, we deserved it. We were better than them, I thought. Not by That's much. exactly what We're I two, thought myself, mate. Two, two poor sides and we managed to take the spoils because we just had that little edge on them. Yeah, we did. And I tell you what, it's just all good, isn't it? When yeah. that happens, we've had so much bad luck this season and then they, it starts going like this and you just think, yeah, I'm happy. Go say it, Chris. I've said it. <laughs> Callie's <laughs> said it. Diana's said it. And I'm pretty sure Johnny's thinking it. <laughs> What's that? What's that? That little prize is still there, isn't it? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, Chris, I've just said to I've said to Callie, you're, you're going to be a witness to this as well. You've just missed the the barrels of laugh we've had. Uh, so I've said to Callie, if somehow some miracle pigs fly, Jesus walks on water, he does. We get into we get into playoffs. I'm dying my hair, claret and amber. What's left oh, yeah. of it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I might do that myself. <laughs> and if she's lucky I'll let her put some nails on as well <laughs> I can tell you where you can get a claret um, hair dye from super drug <laughs> oh, cool. I'm just going to see oh. I've, already some, I've already got some in my bathroom don't you worry <laughs> oh that's good then <laughs> so uh, what's your thoughts on the Walsall game Chris well uh, they're the tough side aren't they but the thing is, I think that, look, it's, it's either going to go one of two ways. It'll go to one way, which is going to be a case of we'll capitulate and we'll just um, more or less give up in so much as, look, that's our season done. We've, we've given it a good go, but that's it. That ain't the way that I think we're going to go. I think what we'll do is we might find it hard, but I think we'll mix them up. I think we'll go on bounce. We'll get them on. Um, you know what I'm thinking. <laughs> I can't think of bloody word myself. Uh, you will get them on it. We'll go back. We'll charge up from and we'll score. And it'll be one of those where it's a, a one niller. Yeah, I'm on break. Something like that. But I think we've got three points in bag with it. Yeah. Okay. And uh, like I said before, Chris, obviously we've done a, a Barrow podcast. And if anyone's listening to the future, this is the 18th time the game has now been postponed due to flooded pitches. Yeah. Probably be year 2060 until we play it. Uh, what's your thoughts on the Barrow game on Tuesday if we beat Walsall? Well, I mean, I think we're going to take it to Barrow because they've let us down twice and it's just like, look, 
the people that have gone trudged all the way there i know it's not five hours journey there but it's it, they've gone all the way there to be told oh it's waterlogged see you later <clears throat> they've got to get on a tuesday night oh it's waterlogged see you later if it's waterlogged for a third time they should just go right we're calling it points to bradford city done we owe them don't we Bad yeah yeah. Is that yeah, I think I think if they're gonna say it's off again, they should award Bradford City the three points. So I'm gonna go to the Barrow game on uh, Tuesday. Again. Again. <laughs> I didn't get there last time to be fair. I got there first time, second <laughs> time I worked time. It off. Third time, third time just jam. And Chris, uh, also we've been talking about FA Cup replays. What's your thoughts on the FA Cup yeah. replay situation, if you've heard about it? Well, they're saying they're banning it, are they? Yeah, it's... It, Why are they banning it? I don't know. Cause I think that is absolutely disgraceful. Yeah. Because the Premier League, I think... I read it somewhere, I just want someone to confirm it for me, that the Premier League now own the FA Cup rights. When did they take over from FA? That's what I want to know. Well, I let me tell me I crap on everybody below them, don't they? That's probably like. Bye, 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 Alan. I do. So we've had a uh, we've while Diane is looking for that, we've had a few TikToks come in, and they've all been. I think they've all been drinking too much. We've had HL come on up the chickens playoff. Here we come, and this play playoffs here we come. Have the fifth. We've got Darren. Hi, Darren again. Leeds boo. All right, Disco Dave, come on, Bantams. Nice to see you, Dave. Uh, Scott, Sophie, we've got your score prediction for the Bradford City game tomorrow. I think it's going to be 3 1 City. Andy Cook's going to score. And we've had a couple of YouTubes come in, but I'm not reading them out because I have to remove that person. Any luck, Diane? There's loads of stuff on it. I'm just trying to have a look. All I've got here, FA and PL change FA Cup format in Ange Grassroot Sport. Premier League said to take over F FA Cup scheduling. This was last year. Significant changes look to be coming to the FA Cup as the Football Association prepares to sell the tournament's overseas broadcasting rights to the Premier League. This would give control of the FA Cup scheduling to the English top flight division. The Premier League is looking for more control of the fixture list due to the expansion of the Champions League. Yep, you've seen it. That was last year. Yeah, yeah I knew I thought I saw it somewhere. Um, see, what's that got to do with the Football League? Their Premiership. Let them stick with Premiership. They've got all money in Premiership. Don't take stuff away from the rest of the Football League. You just yeah, said there, Chris, the Football League. The economy is a scale and it is Every more money for team. Premier. That's yeah. what it is. So, Di yeah. so starting off with Diane, if the, FA, if the FA person, like the head of FA, was somehow some miracle listening to this podcast, <laughs> what would you say to him if he was uh, like... In... Get, the, well, get it scrapped and get the replays back for next season. Think of the little, my, think of the little clubs that join in like August in first round preliminary. The preliminary, extra preliminary rounds. Think about them, not just the big boys. Put the Premier League in its place. The the taking money off the little clubs that need sometimes need that yeah. extra funds to keep going sometimes. And and that it, goes right down into, into yeah. non-league sides that Absolutely. are. Absolutely, yeah. The the some little teams like it, Northern Counties Eastern League, or below that. That start in the extra preliminary round, like when we start our league, they started the FA Cup run already. Exactly. That's what the FA Cup is about. It's about the under, like I said before, it's the underdogs that make the FA Cup. Everybody oh, like the, 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 of the FA Cup. It's dog. the dream, isn't it? It is. It's the dream. It's this dream. is what some teams they get through on a whim and they're like, "Oh, look at this." And it brings in, yeah. you know, they, and it's, to, it's, to someone from Premiership, they'll go, oh, they're only going to win 200 grand if they, if they yeah. beat us, blah, blah, blah. 200 grand to a team in lower leagues like that would be an unseen amount of money. Yeah. Well, it look what Maystone's got. They've got quite years. a few. 
And also, oh, sorry, Lee, uh, Chris, oh, you ranted. Uh, Lee, have you got anything you want to rant, rant about the FA Cup if the guy was, like, in the room now? What would you say to him or her or them? Is this before or after I've removed his teeth? This is before. <laughs> yeah, I'd just tell him, don't do it. Simple as. It's not fixed. Don't try and break, you know, fix something that's not broke. It's not a fix. Giving it to FA, uh, to Premier League. It's just mm. going to rob small clubs like Diane and Cali have just said that it's, they're, they're going to lose out. Clubs are going to go out of business. Is that what Premier League are doing this? Do you think Premiership are doing this because of uh, because we all sort of went against them going into that Super League business? I just think it's money, it's business. To I, them. Yeah, I, I think I think they've done it for money. And obviously, all games now moving over to Saturday, so there'll be no Tuesday. What I think is a bit better. So it's like I don't like. I know Kelly, you work on a Tuesday, and there's other people who work through the week. So on the yeah, Saturday, I, I think that's the only good thing. I don't like midweek games. A lot of people can't get to them, can they? So yeah. I think that's a good idea, but not the other. And well, so when we get with Premier League. A lot of the top end of the Premier League, not not the you know the also runs, but like your Man U's, your Chelsea's, your Tottenham's, and all the rest of them, they don't even need fans to go into the ground to make money because they've got so many income streams. It's untrue. I was saying to work to somebody today that they've got so many people worldwide supporting them, exactly, and everything. So, does anybody else want to chat about, vent about, speak about anything? Diane, Callie, Chris, Lee, even Crypto or, or Bubbles, anything? <coughs> Here, have we done what do we think team selection is going to be? Go for it, mate. I reckon he sticks with the same team. All right, I'm hoping he does. Diane, have you done your fan up yet? Not I haven't done this fan club yet. I'm um, thinking about it. I'll be doing it soon. Call it. Yeah, I think we should stick with the same team. That that team that we've had just lately has been doing quite well, hasn't it? Even though we had a poor, poorish game last Saturday. Um, make sure Bobby Poynton's on. on. I've seen a thing today mm. where he's showing his little... He will sh sat on seats showing his little season ticket... Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just think it it's so good sweet. for the club. Yeah. Yeah. It should also be noted that uh, our upturning form has only been since Pointing came back. Correct. 100%. Totally agree. Right. Uh, everyone's oh, weather forecast. I'm not going to bother with that today. I mean, I'm in one of them moods. Uh, so I don't even need my coat or my pink hat. Oh, yeah, no. I want to know. You need oh. your pink hat, whatever the weather, Diane. I'm it's 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 pink hat gear now. Oh, it looks oh, so cute in the pink hat on Saturday, though. It was fun. Oh, you did, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, did it look really nice? You oh, you look gorgeous. He's going right. to need it if he dyes his hair red. He'll need it to cover it up. <laughs> I know, <he> well. <laughs> right, so... What's all right? Because everybody's crying out for it. Um, when does the sun rise tomorrow? I'm sorry, I'm normally better than this. In morning, uh, usually. Yeah, I've had one of them weeks. Uh, oh. it's all right, Callie's gonna get brunt of it in the next 30 minutes or so when I ring her and just tell her how my week's been. Right, sunrise at a minute, one minute past six tomorrow. The sun set at 14 minutes past eight. And the highest it looks like it's going to get is going to get 11 degrees. And it's going to be sunny with a bit of cloud. And that is your weather forecast. So, Diane, bring your pink hat. Callie, wear your big coat. Well and done. Georgia. And when is we win, Johnny, we want to see photographs. <laughs> yeah. Georgia, are you there? Hmm. Is she being? Is she using dial up internet again from like nineteen nineties? <laughs> I think so, but she did say that it was playing up. But she has requested, and I've got her, so I don't know what's happening. Yeah, I've accepted her as well. 
Oh uh, yeah, I think Georgia, your internet's shocking. Love you need to get a internet, better internet provider. <clears throat> right. Oh, is she gone? No. Right. So, Diane, what's on your plate? What have you had or having for your tea? I've had the lamb steak again with roast potatoes and peas. Oh. I've got to use it. Dad bought me it, so I've got to, I've got to use it. You have. Has to be done. Miss Kelly. <laughs> You're going to laugh, but I'm actually having a Sunday dinner without the Sunday roast. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why. I just want to How does that work? I've got... <laughs> Is that what you're having? <laughs> can you... I've got Kelly, your... <laughs> can you repeat that again, please? <laughs> I'm having a Sunday dinner without the roast bit. So I'm having potatoes, carrots, stuffing, and two big Yorkshire puddings. Without no... Yeah, I mean, they're called hook, the hook called hook no pies over there, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just what I fancied, so that's what I'm making. Right. If I'd have had a spare yourself? chicken or a spare beef roast, I'd have probably put that in, but I haven't, so... What about yourself, Chris? I'm on uh, rump steak tonight, mate. Ooh, nice. Any uh, any of that uh, peppercorn sauce roll? Uh, no. It's going to be a side of chips. Oh, Oh, DJ Lee. I am on. Well, it's steak of a kind, but it's spag bowl. Happy days. I think I had a Domino's pizza. So people on TikTok, you did see me demolish a Domino's pizza live on live on TikTok. So I hope that's got my viewers up. I know and people love a bit of food eating. People do on a, TikTok. All as time. a seventies kid, I do like steak, Diane. That is gorgeous. I've heard that. What is steak, Diane? <laughs> it's a steak that Diane cooks. Ha <laughs> ha ha, Johnny Byrne. I knew that would come in. <laughs> <laughs> it's got brandy <laughs> in it. It's, it's made from brandy and cream and salt. and Yeah, it's the sauce, so, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> Gorgeous. Has anything else anyone want to talk about, speak about, vent about, shout about? Who's who's um, going tomorrow? I know, obviously, me, Johnny, and Diana are there tomorrow. I know Lee like as his eye follow. George George is going with little man. Oh, oh, I might I'll be able to meet George then tomorrow. You will hopefully. Good. I'll make sure to see you. Are you going, Chris? I'm not. I ain't got a ticket, mate. You ain't got a ticket. You can pay on gate. Yeah, pay on gate. Come on, Chris. Two quid more. Your club needs you. <laughs> <laughs> And Chris, I know the, the nation and the world is uh, in suspense over the next question I'm going to ask you. Go on then. Did you go to the 50th birthday party or did you stay at home? I went to the 50th birthday party. I got myself four pints and basically I was getting blanked by everybody. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to go home and I'm going to watch this, the end of the second half. <laughs> so I went over the road, got a taxi, told him to hurry up with it. Taxi came straight away, got home within five minutes, stuck me I follow on. There it is. Look at that. Last 10 minutes at game, plus extra time that they were playing, and it was just perfect. And then messaged me going, I got 11 out of 11, and it was 2 1. <laughs> yeah, we got, we got, I got the, the full um, load out right. And then I got the score right as well. So it was like, oh, yeah. come on, feeling good. And we won. So that day sort of went a little bit mad on Strongbow later on. Yeah, well, yeah. You'll, be glad to, you'll be glad to know that I've not knew your score today anywhere. Right to you. And while I've got you all here as well, because I know sometimes we struggle to communicate through the week, just to let you know the podcast going forward will be 6pm, obviously. And now, instead of being 7, it's now 6. Miss Callie, you got your hand up, love? I've been at school. Tell it. I know, I've never put my hand up so much in my life. You can go to the toilet if you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hey, oh. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> da -da -da. Who's uh, playing that? Just, uh, Is that Lee? Johnny, what are we going to do when... Um... Yeah, it's my phone. My mate, you, my mate, oh. you can have to work. <laughs> uh, I'll mute you. I'm mate. Gonna... I don't know. <laughs> a bit of a wire five over there, Lee. <laughs> yeah, da -da 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 -da. What are you saying, sorry, Callie? Um, what are we going to do when the season's finished? Are we still what, are we still going to do a podcast, or what's going to happen? I was going to get on that later on, but while you've oh. hit, well, everybody's here again. I think we should all meet up. So yeah, definitely. 
So obviously we've got three games left. There's no podcast on Tuesday. We've already just dropped in a bit of Barrow. Uh, then the last game is Newport, in it? So we've got Barrow, or Walsall, Barrow, then Newport. So the last podcast will be Friday at six o'clock. Then everybody can crack on with their lives. Diane can do whatever. Callie can do a hall scene. Chris can do whatever. And Lee can do his DJ. And Crypto can do his whatever he's doing. And G uh, Bubbles can do whatever she's doing. But if something massive breaks from the club, obviously we'll come. But also, I, I was going to do this at the last day of the podcast. But well, I've got you here all again. I know I'm using this. I mean, we're just in a wind up mood today. But what I want from you. Next season, obviously, after the players have, or teams have decided who's gone up or gone down, I want a top six prediction from you guys and girls. Uh, basically, who go up, who goes in playoffs, and your top two going down. And then when the season podcast returns on the, well, I think it'd be like the Friday at six o'clock again, obviously... Because I know all the professional podcasts do it, where they do the like league table. But I'm going to simplify it, simplify it. So just have your champions, your playoffs, and your relegation zones, and we'll go through it. And obviously transfers and stuff like that, what the club have brought in. So we'll still be about. Uh, don't worry, we'll we'll be pestering you still. Why don't you do a chickens on loose? Um, England following for Euros. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, it does. I'm up for that. Because that'll break it up a bit as well, won't it? Yeah, because we miss it so much. We miss it, don't we, when we're not playing? Oh, too right. <laughs> I hate it. I hate yeah, that. Yeah, but you never know. We might be able to do a podcast when we get to the playoffs. Absolutely. There you go. Get I'll come in. out with it. Get, oh, get in. Right. How many times can I do 100? <laughs> go on. Just okay, get in. right. So going forward then, I know obviously people can't see this, but if you're on TikTok, you can, and other social sites. Another interesting okay, so thing, Okay, so wonderful yeah. idea is we're going to do an England podcast every time England play, see how that goes. And then, obviously, we'll return if anything major happens through the club, such as, I don't know, Ryan Sparks goes or the club gets taken over. So, is anyone uh, else uh, there anything else they want to say before we disappear and I turn our Just very quickly, did anybody else catch what Alexander said today as well? They're already talking to people at other clubs with a view to them coming in, getting them over the line. So, I found that a bit positive from Alexander. I saw that one about that Harry. It, is he one of our youth teams? Oh, Harry Harry Bitson. Bitson. Yeah, everybody's yeah. after him. Yeah, I saw think, that one. I think that's actually the club's model, though. If like I know, I, can't, I don't know the names off the top of my head, but I know we've had a player who's got a Hull. Uh, I don't know if Lee, you know who I'm on about. Uh, a youngster went to Hull for a bit of money, and people are going to Premier League teams from the academy. So I think that's how the club have actually got like making the money by sending. Obviously, big teams are coming in and they're going for Premier League team money kind of thing. Uh, do you know what makes me laugh about this Harry Ibbotson? I don't even know who he is. I've not heard of him up to now. He's only 18. But yet all these clubs all really want him. But we, I've never seen him play. And I've watched Bradford City for years. <laughs> you need to get on that YouTube and sense. watch watch Academy. You we never know, he might play tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you might yeah. see him in these three games that we've got left. Yeah, because he has said. If that's what Alexander was saying. Right. Well, that's why he says he's clearing decks because he wants to widen the path for young players to come through. He wants his own yeah. team, doesn't he? Which is he does. Which is good. Definitely. Can, can I just um, say as well? Off. I've got I've got my two Barrow tickets spare going spare. If um, anybody wants them, I've given them to Lenny City Gent. He's got them. So if anybody wants to make use of them, just let us know. Because I can't obviously go because it's been rearranged for the Tuesday night. There you go, mate. <laughs> there you go. If anybody wants them, it's a, an adult and an under 18s, but obviously you can upgrade the under 18 if you need to. I think. But I don't want no for them. Under 18, just... won't you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, calm it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, right, everybody. I, I don't so want wrong. for them. I just want them to go to a good home. Right. Time to hit that button. Ooh. Time to hit that button. Right. 
I want to say everyone thank you for coming along uh, to today's podcast. Hope you've enjoyed yourself. Sorry it's been a bit lackluster. I've just had one of them weeks. If you like what you're listening to and watching, uh, you can listen to us on all podcast services. Just search for Chickens on the Loose podcast. Also, follow me on TikTok, Chickens on the Loose on TikTok and Chickens on the Loose on YouTube. Hope you've enjoyed yourself. Hope Bradford City get three points tomorrow and also three points on Tuesday. We will be back Friday at 6 p.m. So, Diane, Callie, Chris, and Lee, Crypto, and Georgia, put it in your diaries. Don't forget. Wherever you are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. And, Chris, I always like how you say this. Come on, City! <laughs>